Hey there, viewers. Are you suffering from a toothache, backache, or muscle pain? Your first impulse would be to reach for the medicine cabinet for a painkiller. They do help relieve pain, but come with a bunch of side effects. What if we told you there was a natural painkiller that can help you? In today's video, we'll be discussing 14 surprising natural painkillers that can help you feel better. Is peppermint essential oil on our list? What makes turmeric so effective? What about capsaicin? We'll be discussing all of these and more. Number 1. Peppermint Essential Oil The peppermint plant comes with anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. More importantly, it has properties that can relieve pain. This is possible because of the compounds in the peppermint plant. Research has shown that peppermint can be used to treat painful spasms and arthritis. It also showed that using peppermint on your temples can reduce pain caused by headaches. Peppermint oil can cause allergic reactions, so it's best to test a small amount on yourself before actually applying it to an area you want to fix. Have you tried peppermint oil before? Did it work? Sound off in the comments below and start a conversation with our bestie community. Number 2. Capsaicin Capsaicin is a compound in chili peppers, which can work as a pain reliever. While the compound can cause a mild burning sensation, it won't cause any additional pain and will instead relieve you of any discomfort you're feeling. Research has shown that creams or patches with capsaicin play a vital role in pain relief. In fact, most products that are used to get rid of pain tend to have capsaicin in them. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all of our great bestie content. Number 3. Turmeric this is also an important spice used for pain relief. It has a compound called curcuma, which gives it pain-relieving qualities. It's a commonly used remedy for reducing inflammation. This is also why it's regularly used in curries and smoothies. In one study, over a period of four weeks, it was found that consuming curcuma extract can be as effective as medication such as ibuprofen. This is especially true for people with osteoarthritis. No wonder several cultures drink turmeric milk or tea when they're sick or in pain. Wondering how to prepare it? Well, turmeric tea is actually pretty simple. All you have to do is add a pinch of turmeric to hot or cold milk and just drink it. You can add sugar or honey for taste. For turmeric tea, you need to first boil the water. Let's say you're boiling four cups of water. Add two teaspoons of ground, grated, or powdered turmeric. Allow this mixture to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Strain the tea into a container and allow it to cool for five. You can now enjoy your turmeric tea. Personally, I like adding lemon juice and honey for extra flavor. Number 4. Lavender Essential Oil Lavender essential oil is used by many people to relieve pain. The oil can also be used to treat anxiety and help you fall asleep faster. Before you apply it, you'll need to dilute it with a carrier oil. In one study among two groups of people, it was seen that the group inhaling lavender oil were able to get rid of migraines quicker compared to the placebo group. There's also research to suggest lavender essential oil has anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving effects. If you use lavender essential oil, make sure you don't ingest it, as it can have toxic effects on your body. Number 5. Eucalyptus Essential Oil Eucalyptus plant is already quite popular for its many medicinal properties. One of those properties is pain relief. Eucalyptus essential oil can not only help get rid of pain, but also bring down any swelling and inflammation you may be suffering. In one study among people recovering from knee replacement surgery, two groups were given eucalyptus and almond oil. The group that inhaled eucalyptus oil for 30 minutes every day for three days experienced greater pain relief than the almond group. However, eucalyptus oil should not be used on children or pets. Also, you need to check if you have reactions to this oil. It can trigger asthma. It's also toxic for people who swallow it. Number 6. Ginger Ginger is also very helpful when it comes to relieving pain. This is one of the reasons ginger is regularly used in diets. You can also use it in teas and smoothies. Fresh ginger is a lot healthier compared to ginger supplements. Research shows that consuming 2 grams of ginger every day for 5 days can help reduce muscle pain after running or resistance training. Number 7. Rosemary Essential Oil Rosemary plants are also rich in properties that can help relieve your pain. Rosemary essential oil can bring down your inflammation levels and relax you. It also has compounds that can boost your memory. Research shows rosemary can also help treat headaches, as well as pain in your bones and muscles. 
It's even capable of treating seizures. Rosemary can do this by working on the receptors in your brain, which are responsible for pain. Rosemary essential oil needs to be diluted with carrier oil before you use it. For every three to five drops of essential oil, you need to dilute it with one ounce of carrier oil. Before we move ahead, here's another video you might like. Looking for ways to boost your immunity? Check out seven natural ways you can strengthen your immunity. Now back to our discussion on 14 natural painkillers you need to know about. Number eight, cloves. Cloves have been regularly used in traditional medicine, especially to relieve pain from toothaches. In one study, it was seen that clove gel is an effective benzocaine gel that dentists use to relieve pain from needles. In the study, participants were divided into groups that were given clove gel or benzocaine gel, with a third group acting as a placebo. The gels were applied to the insides of the participants' mouths. Both groups given clove and benzocaine gels reported much less pain compared to the placebo group. Cloves also have anti-inflammatory properties, can boost your immune system with their antiviral and antifungal activities. Number 9. Feverfew Feverfew is a medicinal plant that has been used in traditional medicine for issues such as fever, migraines, and toothaches. You can also use feverfew for stomach ache and rheumatoid arthritis. There are many compounds present in feverfew that are responsible for their benefits. Research shows flowers and leaves from feverfew contain analgesic in them, which can help relieve pain. There are a few side effects when you consume feverfew like nausea and vomiting. It can also cause you to bleed. Number 10. Acupuncture Acupuncture has been traditionally used for reducing pain. Experts suggest acupuncture is especially helpful with treating lower back, neck, and knee pain. It can also reduce the number of times you suffer from headaches and migraines. In one study, it was seen that acupuncture can help deal with chronic pain. Research showed that the procedure can help with symptoms related to osteoarthritis. Number 11. Yoga Yoga is a form of meditation that can help reduce your pain. When you suffer from back pain, one of the ways to relieve the suffering is by stretching. When doing yoga, you'll be able to do the necessary stretches and physical therapy. Your yoga session will help you with breathing, self-care, and relaxation. This will help you deal with your anxiety. Number 12. Mindful Meditation Another form of meditation that can help with relieving pain is mindful meditation. Research from nearly 40 studies has shown that mindful meditation can help relieve your symptoms. It can also help reduce your depression and can improve your quality of life. Number 13. Warm Water Soak Fed up from muscle pain, stiff joints, and muscle spasms? There's a very simple and natural remedy out there that'll potentially kill all the pain. I'm talking about warm water soaks. Soak your body in warm water. This simple act will relieve you of all your muscle pain and spasms, as well as various types of arthritis. You have several options for warm soaks. There's a warm pool for water therapy, whirlpool tubs, and deep bathtubs. Number 14. Dry Heat Therapy not into the idea of warm water soaks? Don't worry, you can get the same benefits from dry heat therapy. You can apply a heat pack or adhesive back wrap that provides continuous, low-level heat. Make sure you carefully read the instructions to reduce the risk of burns or injuries. Natural painkillers are great. Do you know about another natural remedy that can boost your health? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more related videos, shall we? Watch 10 Great Foods That Naturally Cleanse Your Body. You should also check out 10 Tips To Naturally Regrow Your Hair. Go ahead and click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about how to become healthier. Are you planning on trying any of these natural painkillers? Did you know about any of them before watching this video? Let us know in the comments below.